heart disease rates, that reduction, I think it's important to be clear, is not entirely attributable to just the reduction in, say, dietary saturated fat. Changes in smoking prevalence in the population have been a major determinant of that. The advent of, after the discovery of the LDL receptor, of targeting LDL lowering with statins, and then the development of azetamide, bile acid sequestrants, now PCSK9 inhibitors are just absolutely incredible drugs. There's an incredible array array of pharmaceutical therapy to lower LDL. Uh, and then the potential adjuvant effects of, of, of uh, you know, nutrients in the context of, say, fish oil or otherwise. So we're at a point now, and this is why I have such a problem with this movement that would seek to kind of take this very historically illiterate view of heart disease. We're at a point now where we could completely revolutionize the treatment, not just of people with heart disease, but the prevention of heart disease. We know so much now about the primary determinants. We're able to directly intervene and treat the causal risk factors. We should be moving to a place where we're, you know, really dramatically reducing the burden of cardiovascular disease in, in all populations. Um, and, and, this, and this ahistorical movement are standing in the way of implementing that at a population level. So, yeah, look, the burden of chronic disease has increased. Things have changed. Our, our, our countries have become more industrialized. We have a food supply and a food industry that is divorced from public health, but the private sector is the primary influence on public health, which is a weird dichotomy, but is a dichotomy that is probably the most responsible for the kind of predicament we find ourselves in. Um, and there's that great saying, you know, in healthcare and in medicine, you know, when you hear of hoofbeats, think of horses, not zebras. And, and I really think we need to just kind of reestablish some reality in the conversation and to be able to move forward with what we do know um, uh, and to point the finger in the right direction as well. Because the one thing that the you know, voices in the low carb community do have right is, is the role of the food industry in all of this. Um, and, you know, but unfortunately they frame that then as part of this kind of all corrupt conspiracy to demonize animal fats. And it's like, no, look, let's just go with what the data tells us. But yes, the food industry is having a, you know, disproportionately negative impact on people's health. <laughs> 